Hi guys, it's Glass Glasgow here once again. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so we've had quite a bit of excitement today. A lot of news. Had to work a lot of hours today. Come home, get showered, take get some meat. So I'm finally putting this video up. <laughs> um, so, anyway. So we learned today that some news from Korea. Um, North Korea and South Korea have been, you know, meeting again. Um, so it looks like uh, North Korea has finally... Um, opened up and said they are willing to open up and allow independent um, inspectors to come in and inspect their nuclear sites. Um, of course, again, to North Korea, you got to take this with a grain of salt. Um, but it's something. Uh, this is probably going to be actually something good. I think they might stick with this. Um, reasoning with the other good thing coming from North Korea is that both uh, North Korea and South Korea have said they are going to petition together. To take get a bid on the I want to say 2032 Olympic Games, maybe it was 20, yeah, 2032 um, Olympic Games. Now um, that is good. It gives them a long-term goal uh, that will now go to the committee for evaluation once they get the paperwork signed. My guess is most likely they will get it, uh, being on the fact it would probably. Need to determine on what goes on with the rest of the negotiations. Um, I think they would probably get it just for the fact that just like the Peace Prize it doesn't get political. They'll probably give it to uh, the world to be a show of faith for them to work towards peace. So that's a good thing. Um, along with that and um, um the inspector's news came that they are working on hashing out finalization of signing a peace treaty. That's three good things, good news, from North Korea and South Korea. So things are going on good. Um, of course, what they're trying to say, what's Trump doing now? He doesn't have to do anything. He can sit back, you know, don't apply any more pressure, uh, as long as shit does good. Said nice things about both presidents from the north and south. Um, he he. The real main actors here are the Koreans, north and south. The other ones have to live with each other. The other ones that are technically at war with each other. <clears throat> you know, the U.S. Miss in its reason, um, interest in the south, China with the north. Um, I think Trump's probably going to be a little bit more nicer now to North Korea because he's going to try to make sure that they know get away from China with the North Koreans. So it works them to getting quicker to the peace uh, talks and denuclearization. Um, but he really doesn't have to be involved too much of anything. He can do a hands-off approach. It's because it really doesn't do much for him or anyone else if he goes out and controls everything. Um, he's a good guarantor. Now, I think this is why um, Jong-un likes Trump. He understands he may not get backstabbed because Trump's not a career politician. And so far, Trump's been keeping to his word, whether it be good or bad, when it came to North Korea. And he makes North Korea, um, you know, hop on it. Um, they're even talking again about even taking down a couple more test sites, which they would like the inspectors to go to first. So this is all pretty good. Like I said, North Korea, we've had promises, but they've also been broken. But I think Jim, Kim Jong-un is going to try and start keeping this because he realizes Trump's his last bet of getting a fair fucking deal. Um, and I think he'll have everything ready, good, underway, close to denuclearization on a high, quick schedule before the end of President Trump's first term. Because um, that would probably give... To help him out, get Trump possibly reelected for another four years to help out his country get even better. Because Un knows if he does good, he'll get a good trade deal for South. All the Koreans get um, done a good for his country, and chances are, may get a good sweet deal for himself of not getting hit uh, with criminal uh, war charges. You know, for, for shit against humanity from the world stage. Um. So, and if he did that, who knows if he did that, probably get a good chance for Trump to get reelected in 2020. 
So he he's trying to piece my everything in good and quick. But we'll have to see. Like I said, green and salt with everything with North Korea. But hopefully this sticks together. And soon we'll have peace and denuclearization going within the next year. All right. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think about this news? Go down, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you guys take care, and I'll see you all next time.